And Elizabeth Sobeck. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... Uh, the scientist. Dr. Sobeck was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobeck. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No. The opposite. Local wars here even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Aurea. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. <laughs>